course, Satan. I mean, nobody likes Satan except no. Satan. I would never wear flip flops. Flip flops are ungodly. Hello, I'm Virgil. And I'm Dante. Welcome to Dante and Virgil Talk. About things. It's, it, it's called Dante and Virgil Talk. And what we talk about is things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so. So, we figured we'd start out today with a couple questions of just like basic ground rule, what we think people want to know about us. Then we'll open it up to questions from abroad. Abroad, we'll see. Your vocabulary is truly all-knowing and unlimited. Thank you, Dante. This is why I keep him around. Just because it's a compliment? I thought I was a great poet. Oh, right, that too. Yeah. Your poetic compliments are great. Okay. So. So. Questions. Right, uh, que um. Yeah. Um, yeah, questions. So, um. Uh, this, this is what we wrote. It was sort of late. We wrote it, so it's, you know, my handwriting isn't great. I've been dead for a while. I'll find motor skills, you know. Uh, but, um. What did you learn in your tour of hell? Pretty uh, basic I, question. I mean, you could read the book, or we could just give it to you in a quick, pithy synopsis so you don't have to be literate or anything in this modern age, you know? Yeah, why would anyone want to be literate? Mm. To preserve our writings, obviously. Obviously, to preserve amazing works like that. Our amazing but, works. Yeah. 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 So, uh, the question? Oh, right. What did I learn in my tour of hell? Well, I learned many things in my tour of hell. I learned that sitting was bad. I already knew sitting was bad, of course, because I am a very devout and pious man. But I also learned the specific punishments for sins, and I learned that one should never pity sinners, because Sinners are sinful. Sin sinful. Yeah. What Scum said? of the earth. Scum of the earth. Scum of the earth. Scum of the earth. Fit only to have our toes wiped on them. If that. Yeah, that. What do you consider to be your greatest achievement, Virgil? Dying? Sorry, what? Dying was a pretty big achievement. But Virgil, no. you're a gift to this world. You could say that, I could say that, I do say that, but while it wasn't something I exactly work towards or put any effort into, dying opened up my horizons, it broadened my world. I discovered there was a god that I hadn't been worshipping, a single god, far more true than our uh, polytheistic pantheon, and that there was um, a son of god who I was supposed to worship, and I could not because he hadn't been born yet. And when I died, I discovered the true grace and mercy and forgiveness of God, because he didn't put me in the worst pits of hell with the demons and the flays and the whips and the ice and the snow and the giant dogs and the harpies and the centaurs and the rivers of death and blood, the putrefaction and poo and all of that. I was in an elevated circle. All I had to do was live with Virgil, die, be dead Virgil. without hope for the rest. Virgil, I yes. feel faint. Oh. He does this sometimes. We'll be back in a minute. I'm sorry, all those descriptions of hell, they just... I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, anyway, those questions are stupid. Um, so we're gonna go to some of your questions now. What was the next question on the list, Virgil? We're going to your questions now. Okay. So, for the next questions, Virgil will be receiving them into his divine knowledge by divine insight. Divine airdrop, basically. Yeah, it's yeah. like airdrop, but cool. for angelic people. It's pretty cool. Okay, so. Mm. We got some ancient parchment. As you can see, it is ancient parchment, officially sanctioned and copyrighted by God. Yes, yes, yes. Our friend here is very, he likes laws. He's very law abiding. I am a very law abiding citizen. So. So. Virgil? Yeah. What are you doing? These are, your questions will be um, sent here through the mind of God onto this paper. Yes, it is psychic parchment. Psychic. 
God psychic, no less. God psychic person. Alright. So the first question we have is how do you overcome writer's block? Um well for me I to be honest, I don't really get writer's block. I I mean not to brag, but I have a lot of divine inspiration and that doesn't really lend itself to a writer's block. Nice. nice. So you basically write down whatever thoughts are put into your head, whether by divine reasoning or what you just ate for lunch, and write it down in the rhyme scheme that you invented because it was an easy way out and it's a poem. Was that criticism or a compliment? That was totally a compliment. Okay, Virgil. Well, Virgil, how did you get over writer's block? Well, if you think of writer's block as what it is, it's a metaphysical and a metaphorical block, literally, that's blocking your way like something in your arteries or something and like you take this thing that's an embodiment of everything that's that's getting in your way that's blocking the divine thing that must just be birthed from your hand onto the page must come into existence if you think of it as this one thing you take it and you put it somewhere preferably out of the way and not in your house and away from small children you put it there and you can take either a literal axe if you're feeling really up for it or a metaphysical axe if you're you know strong in your belief and you chop it up a lot and then you put it in the wood stove Virgil, everything you say is so poetic i uh, yeah I, I can't deny it yeah i feel so blessed to be in your company you too bud question says, this question says, Dante, it's 2019, don't you realize that gay rights are a thing yet? Next question. So Dante, this one's for you. Someone's asking, what was the most horrible thing you saw in all of hell? Really puking, guts horrible, really morally questionable, horrible, or... Well, nothing in hell is morally questionable, Virgil, because everything is there by God's will. Perfect answer. Um, Especially given that we're under surveillance at all times. <clears throat> yeah. As we were saying, you may remember that I found many things in hell to be um, horrible. He has, he's very tender-hearted. He feels for people very much. It's It's... It could be viewed as a failing, or as, as, a, as a good thing, but we're working on it, we're working on it. I, I don't know how to respond to that. Anyway, I really thought that the ninth circle of hell was just horrible, but just knowing what scum of the earth those people were, and of course Satan. I mean, nobody likes Satan except Satan. Virgil, where do you work out to get so strong that you can carry grown men up and down very steep slopes? Well, in my particular ring, uh, we're all very proud of our writing, and since we're not all born at around the same time, we didn't get to enjoy each other's pure genius. We've got a lot of big fat tomes of people's poems lying around, so, you know, lifting those and stuff. Eternities took a really long time, so I get to do that. Um, I was on the cleanup crew for a little while, picking up some of the rocks that fell after Jesus and all that, uh, so I, I did that for a little while, but it was not really up to my intellectual standard. I mean, moving rocks, so... Nothing is up to your intellectual standard, Master. But I would say, basically, I carried him with the will of God in my biceps. I mean, this kid, he's on a quest from God. God wants him to be able to go through this on his own feet, or that of some other hapless soul, so, you know, wasn't too bad. He was light and airy as promises of divine recognition. Thank Insubstantial. You, what? Insubstantial as but yeah, let's go on. Next question. Um surveillance at all times. Okay. So Dante. It's a it's a weird question. Like I don't even know why they're asking, it's pretty obvious, but like do you think there's any bias in you being the author of a story about yourself placing people that you know in different locations throughout hell, um, and, like, are you an unbiased author in these events? Because it doesn't really seem like it is sort of what this person is in there. You know, frankly, I find that question offensive. I mean, I am merely relaying what I saw on my trip with Virgil. I... 
I'm just relaying events. This is the divine will. This person is, I mean, they, they can't even spell stuff right. I mean, like, can we trust a person? No, you can't I mean, trust someone who can't spell. The paper doesn't lie. This is what the person said, but the person is clearly corrupted by Satan. Clearly. That person is definitely going to the circle of hell for our envious people. Because obviously they're just jealous of my great work. And yeah, just because sad, sad. I wrote about my favorite poet being sent by my favorite woman by the three ladies of heaven to save me personally from sin does not mean that I am narcissistic or biased. I don't even know where you would get that idea. It's just facts. So as we were saying. Yeah. Well, the rest of these questions are equally, they're, 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 they're pretty stupid. Yeah, I, I think they're out. Just, you know, for the, the betterment of both of us, I think we shouldn't answer those. Not that they're embarrassing for anyone in particular, and just, you know, yeah, so, um, yeah, it was great talking to you. I feel we should just move around this up. That's good. Funny. Um. Outro. Outro. I don't know how to do it. I have to do Drugs is probably illegal because we make everything illegal. True. We're also being watched at all times by the little cameras in the ceiling. I never do that myself. No. Um, oh yeah, we're doing a snazzy outro. 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 Welcome to the Virgil and Dante talk show. We talk about stuff. Usually involving hell. We don't talk in couplets. We considered it, but it's sort of limited what we could say. We don't talk in Cherzarima either. Yeah. I have also... enough of Cherzarima after writing three whole books in it. Poems? Poems. What do you call them now? Put the poems. publishing slime. Epic poems. Epic. Oh, epic. Oh, epic. Yeah. We're also talking in English. Yeah. I learned English, and Virgil taught me English. English didn't exist by the time I died. Yeah, but Virgil learned English but in hell. But I've got lots of time in hell. Because Virgil is all-knowing and majestic. As you can see, this is Virgil. He is very all-knowing. <laughs> Freaking so majestic. <laughs> Virgil, no! I have fallen now from grace! That's dreadful. You? I just, it's my only oh choice is to fall with you. <laughs> malformed cross or a pitchfork and both of those things are just equally bad so no I would never wear flip-flops that's heretical you are going to circle six or maybe circle seven you look really deep into stuff Probably dying?